We're back home from the successful mushroom hunt. Look at all those lovely mushrooms. That lot there would go great. That lot there would see you dead. Can you tell the difference? Field mushroom, death cap. It's not easy. See the caps on those two, how similar they are? Similar in shape, size and colour. But, if we break that one up, this one will, is really, really good to show you why so many people mistake these ones, which are good eating, for these ones, which are not. See how similar they are in colour with that pale pink there. That's what they look like before the cap actually opens. Once they open up, you end up with that darker sort of salmon pink, and then as they age it goes browner. So, with these two it's very easy to see the difference. This one, edible. This one, deadly. They also have certain differences in, you can see the field mushroom um, stem is not as long and doesn't taper as much at the top. It doesn't have this big thallus at the bottom. It's um, a much more simple stem. It's not as complex. Um, another indicator but these as you can see even the, there's quite a distinct difference even between the unopened um, field and the unopened death cap this one is always white yeah let's pull that out over there Strip that back. Yeah. Not be eating that. But that will show you why they're so easily mistaken. So easily mistaken. As adults, not not even closely similar underneath. Do not eat edible. Not edible. Edible. So it's something that is really I can't can't emphasize the importance of knowing the difference between the two. Because, as I said, from the top, they are very, very similar. Out of those three, if you were just to look at the top, you may not know that this one's going to kill you, and these two are fine. So, practice care. If you can't positively identify it, such as this one, if you can't say, oh yes, that's definitely a field mushroom, it goes into the it's a deadly one bundle. These ones, too easy to identify. No problems at all. No problems. Oh, look, it's a bit light. Oh, I think we'll just be err on the side of caution. Although I know this is one is a field mushroom myself. If you are not aware, err on the side of caution. Much better than dying a very, very nasty death and that pile of mushrooms there is probably enough to kill about 10 people i sure as hell would not go eating it it's got a very distinct aroma you get sticky fingers from um, touching them 
they're not poisonous to touch the poison has to be ingested but if you are touching them make sure that you wash your fingers very very well before handling food sucking on them or you know even even having a cigarette I wouldn't wouldn't recommend having a cigarette and handling a cigarette but and then putting it to your lips after you uh, after you've played with these things once again just to reiterate these ones are safe these ones are not I can't really reiterate that enough. People might think I'm exaggerating, but about three years, four years ago, there's four people who made themselves a meal of death caps, ended up in hospital, three died, the other one's probably still on dialysis or who knows. But they were not well when they survived. And uh, so, Beware, there are signs all over camera warning against eating wild mushrooms because people don't know the difference and people do die. I have had one comment at least saying, I can't believe these things will kill you. They will believe it. <laughs>